Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. So, uh, everybody, uh, we're here again, the three of us. I think it's my turn to say hello. <laughs> Welcome you to Celebrating Act 2. I'm not sure how this works, Bill. You know, we, <laughs> you and I and Art get together, and there's supposed to be some kind of semblance of organization here. Oh, and this I isn't just supposed it. to be all, three guys getting together and just having a conversation off the cuff, whatever comes up. Okay, because I've been practicing this intro for about uh, seven minutes now. Smooth as okay. silk. Yes. Smooth yeah. as silk. Let's see what you can do with this, uh, 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 Bill. You've heard the phrase, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Now with that kind of lead in, just off the top of your head, can you talk about something? Can he talk about Sure I can, but you just reminded me, I just saw the other day online, somebody said, ice cream, you scream, the cops show up, it's very awkward. <laughs> Great. Now, 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 yes. try to make something out of this, Bill. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for homemade ice cream. And I asked for an, a homemade ice cream maker uh, for my birthday back in July. And it wasn't until a couple of weeks ago that I un unboxed the thing and decided to give it a whirl. And this is the canister they give you. That's a lot of ice cream, man. That's look at that. Yeah. So, but I went by the, uh, there's all kinds of recipes online, ones that include eggs and it was very complicated. The one I used was just freshly sliced peaches, which by the way, too, I picked the perfect time of year for peaches to go out of season. <laughs> so I've, I've only been able to make a couple of batches, but I, I, I've been told online that canned peaches do work. So again, I figure it can't be bad. It may not be great. So that's on my, my next uh, agenda. But I, you know, I got all the things together, the heavy cream and the whole milk and the ice. And I missed the rock salt the first time around. You need rock salt, like ice cream salt. And differently than I made it as a kid, because as a kid, I was the crank turner. Remember, you used to have to do the crank, right? What, now what they, are you, is this, this is electric? Yeah, it's the, I, have, I have a hybrid. You can either electrify it or you can get your grandson to crank it. So I figured I'd better just go ahead and, uh, you know, plug it in and let it do its thing. So um, the first batch didn't work that well because I only used uh, like like table salt. I didn't have the rock salt and it wasn't melting that ice uh, like it should getting it cold enough. I, I still froze the concoction. It was edible, believe me, because I, I did polish it off. But the second batch I did, man, was absolutely wonderful. But here's the here's the trade off. It's one of those things where you decide to do it yourself. And after I made it, you know, it's like, you know, this is good, but I could have just gone down to the grocery store and bought a half a gallon for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because by the time you buy the ice cream maker, the fresh peaches, the heavy cream, the whole milk, the vanilla extract, the sugar, you know, you got thirty seven dollars invested in this. It's going to last me for three days. So, but it's, but it's fun. And my wife was so proud of me on the second batch because when I stopped it and pulled it out and it was just a glob of peach colored ice cream and man, it was so good. So I'm going to experiment with some other ones. Like I said, I'll try the canned peaches, see how that works. Um, there is uh, their chocolate uh, homemade ice cream recipes. I'm a big chocolate fan. Uh, but also, you know, I've been trying to lose some weight and I've been pretty successful with that with intermittent fasting, but I'm looking for a low carb. I know some people consider that blasphemy, but low carb homemade ice cream recipe. So I don't know. Now I'm, I'm kind of all jazzed about this and kind of into it. I wish there was a way I could share this Let with you guys. Question. Do you use, do you just use the, the fruit in this case out of a can? Uh, but I guess you could use fresh fruit or quite frankly, probably frozen fruit. Fruit. Like if you bought uh, mangoes or peaches at Costco in a big bag and use them and, and do you have to add sugar? Do you add sugar additionally or just what's naturally occurring? Well, you know, I, I, I think you can, as, as my wife has been trying to teach me, you can make it any way you want. It's either going to work or it isn't going to work. The recipe I've been following calls for um, a, like a cup and a quarter of sugar. But yeah. you could probably use stevia or something else or just let the peach 
or whatever fruit or whatever you're putting in there, let that, you know, kind of sweeten itself and, and do your own thing. I think that's what I'm learning about in kicking around in the kitchen because my wife is normally, normally does that because she likes, she knows how things are, how she wants it. So I let her do it. Right. But when I'm in here doing it, she's just kind of taught me, like, you just kind of experiment, you know, you go by the, you go by the, the recipe and do your own thing. If you're, if the last time I made the, the uh, peach ice cream, I was low on the heavy cream. So I just made that up with the uh, whole milk. Sure. Well, I couldn't it, tell the that's difference. That's gotta be the fun of it is experimenting, right? Sure. I mean, that and the finished product, that and eating it. Now, are you getting? Are you having uh, visions of uh, getting so good at this? Because I know uh, uh, anything you set your mind to, you really do well. Well, you really do poorly and abandon it. But but it looks like this is one of the ones that you could really do well. Are you thinking about getting one of those trucks with the bells on it and going out in the neighborhood and selling <laughs> uh, homemade ice cream? Peach ice cream, peach ice cream. Come and get your peach now, ice cream. It, that, Art, that's not worth it because those little sticks, those little sticks are really expensive. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> plus, plus, what does the truck cost? <laughs> you know what? But, I could just but here's another street. example. Here's another example, Bill, of you embracing the boom. No question yep. about it. Oh, you slid that in so well. Oh, here's wonderful. Here's to the boom. So anyway, yeah, I'm just kicking around, even at this late stage in life, 67 years old, I'm kicking around and learning some stuff in the kitchen. So basically it, it gets down to, you know, live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom, whatever that embracing looks like. And yes. I can actually fill this up with 16 ounces of homemade peach ice cream. How good is that? <laughs> but, but yours is a low calorie version like mine. Well, uh, the first two weren't. <laughs> Am I the only one actually using this thing for for liquid? I I you know I'm I'm on the East Coast. I've already done that. Don't don't make me do that. I'll spill it all over. Uh, okay, we are now officially boring our audience. So again, oh, I think so. Yeah. Thank thank you, Bill. As Say good night, thanks, uh, thanks for having me back. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.